I'm Catherine Frazier. Uh, I'm a freshman at CHDA. I'm excited to get baptized because I accepted Christ about a year ago now, and I'm excited to make my faith outward. Um, I grew up in a Christian family, but I never really felt like I had everything. Christ was sort of not always prevalent in my life. Um, at Fall Retreat about a year ago, two Fall Retreats ago, I accepted Christ and that's when it sort of clicked. <laughs> so at Fall Retreat a year ago, we were singing Death Was Arrested and the line, Your Grace So Free Washes Over Me, really stood out because it showed how God was going to forgive you for everything that you've done. and incredible. Now I feel a lot more compassionate towards others because I know that if God forgave me for all that I've done, then I should forgive others for what they've done too. Uh, this is Psalms 8-2. The Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my rock, and in whom I take refuge, my shield, and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Hi, my name is Haley Cushone. I'm a freshman and I go to Milford High School. I'm excited to get baptized because it's, it's almost like a new chapter in my life, basically, so it's like a refresher to me. New beginning. So before Christ, I was like wearing a lot of masks, and so I was always like one of the kids who made a lot of friends easily, but was always involved with drama. When I went to True Face, it was everything just basically like came out. It was like I took all of that away. I had like a lot of masks and stuff. And then Saturday night, it was very emotional and like life changing to me because I kind of just let everything go. It, I wasn't like holding anything back anymore. Like all my secrets I was hiding just came out. So kind of like the things are like different for me now afterwards because I've accepted and like took them in kind of thing. Um, I feel like I'm more open and kind of like trustworthy now more than I was before because now I feel like I can give more help to other people who need it and not just the selfish kind of way like I'm gonna do it by myself. I don't really like, want your help. Now, I sometimes when I'm in a mood that's not the mood that I want to be in, I will look, look through notes I took on Sunday mornings and kind of go through it by myself. And I'll usually play music and stuff. So the verse I really like is John 8:12, and it says. When Jesus spoke again to the people, he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. This verse like, really spoke out to me because it says, whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. So when I accepted him at True Face, it was a new light for me in my life. I felt like refreshed. And it was like a new beginning, almost to where I was like born again. Hi, I'm Ruthie. Uh, I'm in eighth grade and I am homeschooled. I'm excited to be baptized because it I have felt changed and I think that should be shown to everybody. Before I accepted Christ, uh, I was in a family of believers and we've believed in God like from like the moment I was born, I was just like born into a family of believers. And th throughout that time, I learned from my parents' beliefs and what they thought was right. And I made a commitment with God when I was seven. I was doing it because I wanted to fit in with my brothers and sisters. I got very sick on December 1st and I got deathly ill on like December 14th. 
and had to be in the hospital for two weeks straight. And at the end of that hospital thing, I had still had like IVs in me and everything. And I felt different. It helps me see how God can change a person so fast and how impacting it is for people and myself. I work harder. I try to be in the Bible more. I used to not really commit like that and I love learning more about God than I did before and it also helped build a relationship with my parents more. In Luke 22 51 it is when Jesus is getting arrested and Peter slices off one of the Roman soldiers ears and Jesus says uh, no more of this and he touched the man's ear and healed him. This shows for me as a person that he can heal instantly and it's really fast sometimes and it's also really slow. For me he healed me quicker than I expected myself to heal and I could have been in the hospital for an extra four weeks instead of the two I was in there and I because of that, I'm standing here right now and healthy and okay. Hi, my name is Taylor Helwig. I'm in the eighth grade and I go to Mason Middle School. I'm excited to get baptized because I accepted Christ a little while ago and it's been some time and I think that I've matured and that I'm ready to take this ne next big step in my life. My life before Christ was really, I think, different. I didn't really read the Bible a lot. I wouldn't really talk to Christ. I grew up in a Christian home. Um, I've been like that my whole life. I grew up in this church. But I think that just before wanting to make this decision, I didn't really have a great relationship. I'd say that I was a Christian, but I never really act on it. The moment that I decided to become a Christian was at Spring Retreat a year ago. And I just felt that God in that moment was pushing me to accept Him into my life, to say that I'm more than a girl who goes to church, that I'm more than that. And He already knew that, but I don't think I showed people that. Before, I would just like, pray to him about like good grades or like a help on a test or something but now I'm like actually talking to him more praying about things that aren't just happening in my life but in my friend's life and my family's life that I can pray for them and like help them and I've started praying over people and just talking more with God. So the verse that I look to would be John 3 verses 13 through 15. No one has ever gone into heaven except the one who came from heaven, the Son of Man. Just as Moses, Moses lifted up the snake in the wilderness, so the Son of Man must be lifted up, that everyone who believes may have eternal life in Him. So we're all excited for baptism, so now let's go and worship.